you guys it's your boy Odin from host stop promo in today's video I'm going to show you how you can easily add a column to an existing table in Laravel and I had to do this for my website today host dot promo a website where you can find the best web hosting and domain promotions out there and I figured I might as well do a tutorial and show you guys how to go ahead and do this so in today's tutorial I'm going to go ahead and add a Twitter column to the default users table in Laravel if we go ahead and take a look at what this users table looks like, you can see right here we have name, email, password, etc. But we don't have a Twitter column. We're going to go ahead and add that. It's very easy to do. All we need to do is make a migration. So we're going to type in php artisan make colon migration. And then we're going to type in add underscore Twitter underscore to underscore users underscore table and then we're going to specify the table with a flag so we're going to do dash dash table equal and then users because that's the table we want to edit we're going to go ahead and press enter now we're going to go ahead into our code editor and you can see right here we have this new migration file and we have an up function and a down function. So the up function is what's gonna run when we run the migration. And say we wanna reverse it or something goes wrong or we decide we don't need it, we can easily reverse the migration with the down function. So we're gonna use both of these functions. So I'm gonna type in table and then put an arrow and now I'm going to type in the type of column okay we want to use a string column and we're going to type in Twitter okay and if you don't know the type of columns let me go ahead and just show you an example you can see right here there's a, a timestamp column uh, a string column a remember token column so there's different types of columns you can find more about that on Laravel's website I assume if you are working with databases you already know a little bit about that okay and then we're gonna go ahead and type nullable which basically means that the data does not need to be filled out because maybe not every user has a Twitter account that is signing up to our website uh, but for some columns it doesn't make sense to have it nullable for but for this column it definitely does and then in the down function, in case we need to basically reverse the situation, we're gonna add the drop column function and then the name of the column, okay? So if anything goes wrong, we can easily just drop the column, which will remove the Twitter column from the database. Now we have everything ready to go. There is one more thing I will show you after this, but I just wanna go ahead and prove a point. We're gonna type in PHP artisan migrate. It has now went ahead and ran the column. So we're gonna go back to our database. I'm using the MySQL command line, but you can use PHP my admin or whatever you're comfortable with, okay? We're gonna type in describe users one more time to describe the user database, user table and see what it looks like. And you can see right here, we now have the Twitter column, which is great, we did it. But you're probably looking at it and saying, you know, I don't want the Twitter column after the created or the updated at column. That looks kind of weird, okay? And I agree. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to place this Twitter column after the password column. And how we do that is first we need to roll back, okay? We need to use that down function we created right here. So we're gonna type in PHP artisan migrate colon and then roll back. And now if we come back to our users table, we describe it again, you can see the Twitter column is gone. So now we need to go back into the code right here and type in after. And then we put the name of the column we wanna go after. So I wanna go after password. So I'm just gonna type in password. Now, if we come back here and we run PHP artisan migrate one more time and we take a look at our database again, 
you can now see that the Twitter column is after the password column, which is exactly what we want. And that, my friends, is how you easily add a column in an existing table in Laravel. You can also, if you want, you can add multiple columns. So we could do it like this. And then uh, we can make the Facebook column go after the Twitter column. And then we can come down here. And now we can have two columns drop. Okay, so you're not limited to just adding one column. You can add multiple and drop multiple columns in one migration file. And I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. And also make sure to check out my website, host.promo, where you can find amazing and up-to-date web hosting promotions, domain promotions, and the best deals out there. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day.